Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Georgia taxpayers spend $14 billion every year on public schools. And now for the first time, there's an easy way for parents and taxpayers to get a close-up look at how that money is spent. A private foundation is revealing the details about every public school in Georgia. Channel 2's Richard Belcher is here with the first look at the information. Dustin, the Georgia Public Policy Foundation is a private, nonpartisan group that studies and analyzes state issues. Education is priority one. Want to know what your school spends on substitute teachers or art, music, and P.E.? Want to know how the school in the next attendance zone spends its money? Now it is all available. Everybody spends money more carefully if they know someone's looking over the shoulder. Kelly McCutcheon says the information now available on the Foundation's website is there because the General Assembly mandated that local school systems report financial data all the way down to the level of individual school. We don't know of any other state that has this level of detail made available to the public. So Georgia is in the lead in terms of transparency and education spending. The website, for which we'll have the address in a moment, has many measures, such as the school's percentage of students who are eligible for free or reduced price lunches. That's usually an important indicator of academic success as well. In every category and subcategory, you can find dollar figures, and McCutcheon says he's convinced close scrutiny can lead to savings. You'll find waste. You'll find opportunities for cost savings, perhaps with outsourcing. And that's money that can go back into the classroom or relieve some of our property tax burden. McCutcheon contends that close analysis by taxpayers, school councils, and parents may create pressure for school systems to outsource, say, payroll, transportation, or food services, steps many have resisted. Saving money so it can be directed to the classroom is vital, he says, but he includes this warning as well. Numerous studies across the country have found there's no correlation between student achievement and spending. Just because you're spending more money does not mean you're going to get better academic results. So money alone is not the answer, but with most taxpayers spending more on their property taxes on schools than on their local government services, saving money is obviously important to the public. Want more on your schools and how they spend? Go to WSBTV.com, go to our web link section, and that will take you to the Georgia Public Policy Foundation's report card.